Comic Book Savant, episode 304. I know this. This I know. All that I have, all that is me, resides inside my poetry. And every time I write a rhyme, it might be the line that sets mine free. And also, I know... I'm back. Welcome to the Comic Books of Aunt Podcast. I'm your host, James Harris. Um, rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated, as you can see, because I'm back behind a microphone. Um, this is going to be a, a different episode this week. I'm kind of doing it off the cuff. I wanted to just give everyone an update, let you guys know what's going on with the show what's going on with the production as a whole, what's been going on with myself and how I'm going to proceed going forward. Before I get into that, as always like to give a shout out to my friends over at InStockTrades.com. They are the sponsor of the show. Um, As always the greatest place to go online to get your collected editions. Um, Their deals of the week this week are um they have some really good stuff and I, I was browsing over the site and i definitely wanted to bring this up they have some uh, really great stuff they have um the batman um scott snyder and greg capullo um they have a box set um that includes uh, volume one two and three of the Batman Scott Snyder Gray Capullo run is fifty percent off. You're getting it for twenty four ninety nine in a, a slip case box set, a box set edition, which is a really good deal if you don't have those comics. I've raved about them, so if you haven't picked them up yet, this is a great way to get those first three, you know, trades in a nice uh, package for only twenty five dollars. You can't beat that. Um, also, they have the hardcover edition of Batman Volume 9, Bloom, um, also 50% off, only $12.49. They have um, another good deal here, um, a new printing of the uh, new X-Men. This is the Greg Morrison classic run, Omnibus hardcover, uh, 50% off as well, $62.50. Great deal. Um, also, they have... Um, Spider-Man Miles Morales Volume One Trade Paperback fifty percent off only seven ninety nine. Um, they have Star Wars hardcover Volume One. They have two covers. They have a, a, K- a Cassidy cover um, seventeen forty nine at fifty percent off, and an Eminem Stuart Eminem cover also also 50% off for seventeen forty nine. So they have a lot of good deals going on this week. So definitely check them out. As always, they're the best place or one of the best places to get your collected editions. They have deals 35, 45, up to 50% off with their deals of the week. Definitely check them out. Any orders, $50 or more. If you're a U.S. Um, customer, you get free shipping within the U.S. If you're outside the U.S., they have some of the most competitive shipping rates around for international shipping. So you can still partake on the savings. Um, you just you won't get that extra bonus of the free shipping. Uh, but definitely, if you have a moment, check out InStockTrades.com. Let them know the Comic Books of Aunt podcast sent you their way. I greatly appreciate that. Um, so I guess you guys wonder where I have been over the past couple of months, um, without getting too mired down and a lot of personal, uh, stuff is that I was going through another, you know, transition. If, if you've been a longer time listener to the show, I've had a lot of health complications over the past, you know, uh, really four and a half or so years since my, um, my father passed away. I kind of spiraled down health wise with a lot of stress and things that I had to deal with. And, um, my health hasn't been the best. Um, it's limited me with work and a whole bunch of other things. And it's been a, you know, a real issue, a real trying time. Um, but, um, we were making a transition. Um, just like in things that life happens, you thought it was going to be smoother than what it was going to be hit a lot of, um, 
rough spots that prolonged things out. Uh, my computer was down and, you know, in storage, I, it didn't have my, you know, my, my stuff set back up to record. So where I thought it was going to be a couple of weeks, it ended up being a couple of months, um, which was unfortunate, but, you know, I was still, you know, I was still had, a, you know, it wasn't that I lost a desire to do the podcast or anything like that. You know, actually in the time I was gone, I was still, you know, plot, planning and plotting episodes, uh, you know, for them to come out during this time frame. um, just due to all the extenuating circumstances around what was going on. It just, I didn't have equipment to record, you know, I had my phone and I was like, I, you know, I'm, I don't, you know, I try to do the best quality and the best type of show that I can do. Um, I didn't want to just run, you know, just ramble off shows off the phone and a quality be less. And I was just limited to what I had around me. Plus it was a overly stressful situation that, um, that I was dealing with. So I, I want it to be focused and as possible on bringing you the best content. Cause you know, again, this is a, a therapeutic thing that I do for myself and, and hopefully to be informative and as helpful to you guys that listen to the show as well. So I didn't want anything to throw that quality off or, or be overly melancholy or all that kind of, you know, kind of stuff, because, you know, that's not the vibe of what this show is all about. It's about sharing and enjoying comics together. So in all the things related to comics. So I didn't want it to get mired down with stuff that was not important to the show. Uh, so that is really the only reason it's not that I, I hate comics now is, is kind of, it was kind of refreshing in a way because um, with so much going on, you know, I, I had my comiXology app. Um, I could download comics. I was still reading and going through Uh, picking out some of my collections to read. So I probably read more comics than I have in a long time. Um, All the movie reviews you expected for the summer are coming. I I literally have, you know, about 10 episodes prepped, ready to be recorded. So it'll be slightly older content because it's everything that I worked on this summer when I wasn't recording to get to you guys that I actually, you know, did all the outlines, wrote all the reviews for that have just haven't gotten out to you that just need to be recorded. So, um, I'll have, you know, star Trek beyond review. I'll have a suicide squad review. I'll even have a, you know, a Warcraft review, um, as well, as far as movie reviews are concerned. And I'll still do, you know, the, um, summer comic movie, um, you know, movie and review for the whole summer, you know, I I still have all those shows, you know, and I have a ton of cutting the stack episodes because I've been reading so many comics. Um, you know, I was prepping for one episode and it ended up breaking out, you know, during the time I was down in a way that, you know, that one turned into about three, almost four different episodes of cutting the stack of different, um, series and whatnot that I'm going to talk about because I've, uh, been tearing through those uh those comics like i said i've read a ton of, ton of comics in that time frame so it was a ton of content so there's no lack of content coming you'll just have to bear with me as i you know because i was struggling with how do i um when i got back up and running how to release this content not do it um not put it out and just act like that downtime didn't exist but i put a lot of work and a lot of effort into it And, you know, over the years, I've learned that, you know, a a big percentage of the listeners love the, um, you know, the movie review episodes, the comic movie review episodes, like they are, you know, the, some of the most highly rated and listened to episodes. So that's a, you know, a huge part of what makes the, you know, the comic book savant podcast special in its own way is that my coverage of not just comics but comics the comics medium the television show reviews the the movie reviews so i didn't want to deprive that and this is really the summer movie season is one of the biggest seasons so it was unfortunate that i was away when all this stuff was going on even though i was still seeing this stuff and uh reviewing this stuff that i i just could not get it out to you guys so you know in the next few months i don't know am i gonna put out more episodes per month in the interim or what I, but I don't want to over bog everyone down because, you know, we're back into summer's over. We're back into the swing of our, our, you know, our regular lives. Um, you know, I might put out instead of four episodes in a month, maybe five. I, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out that without oversaturating you guys with too much content after a huge drought of content. 
Um, cause like I said, it was no intention of mine to have this drought of content It's just, you know, life, you know, that's the only way that I can really say it. And, um, you know, life sucks sometimes and you just have to kind of, um, roll with it the best you can. The time away also gave me time to think about the future of the show. It was really messed up because I was trying to plan something special because on August 11th, which is also my birthday is marks the anniversary of the show. The podcast has been going for, you know, 10 years now. Um, that, you know, that's a long time, you know, so I put a lot of thought into what is next for the comic books of our podcast. I've been doing this as a podcast for a long time. I, 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 I did it initially as a challenge to myself to prove that I, that I can uh, do it. I never intended, I never thought of myself of someone to be behind a mic doing a podcast and being a, like a kind of known commodity. I'm normally always in my life has been the kind of techie, uh, nerdy guy in the background that orchestrates things or, or more like a producer on um, the behind the scenes, hard work in person. Um, you know, even in my, you know, my work life or my former work life before, you know, the stuff happened, you know, I did a lot of, um, web design where, you know, I'm in a background work with a team or work by myself. I'm not up front as a known quantity. So the last thing I ever thought I would do is do a show, one man podcast show where I'm talking in, in front of a mic to, you know, hundreds of thousands of people, you know, over the, this 10 years, this never was what I imagined. And I never thought it would last 304 episodes, more or less five episodes, but I have. Um, so with that being said, I, you know, I'm kind of at a crossroads of, you know, due to personal things that happened in my life, part of this had started becoming a job because when I was working out in the industry, I made more than enough. This was a hobby that I could spend money on, um, to support it. So I didn't need to make money off of it. Um, you know, it's grown to a point where, um, that's not the case anymore because of, you know, like I said, a lot of personal issues, health issues, things of that, that nature, things that I'm going to have to deal with for the rest of my life. Um, so, you know, I was like, you know, can I afford to keep doing this show? Um, you know, I do get the support from having a, a sponsor. I have one sponsor that has, you know, which I, I love in stock trades and, um, discount comic book services, that whole family with them over there, they've supported me from the beginning to this point. Um, but again, like I've said before, everything is, is, you know, sometimes it's not enough to support, you know, producing a show. Um, I invested smartly in the equipment and stuff I bought. So I can still do all that kind of stuff. And I continue to do the show, but in the form in which I do the show is what I've really debated on. I've done this just audio only format for a long time. I've talked and teased about, um, doing YouTube and I'm ready for another challenge. I've done it in this format for, you know, for 10 years, um, is grown to, um, whatever pinnacle that is going to grow. Um, you guys have helped me get it to that point. I greatly appreciate it. Now I'm looking to transition to maybe going on YouTube. Um, well not maybe I'm definitely going to YouTube because I just need another challenge. I've got to feel like I've conquered audio and done as much as I can in the audio realm. Um, so I'm going to tr transition this show over, you know, it'll be, you know, it'll be a few months, you know, the, where I'm going to be transitioning. I'm going to be doing some test videos at first over on, um, on YouTube and then, um, fully probably by early, you know, next year, the comic books of will primarily be through, through, um, YouTube. So, um, in the process of I'm literally just getting everything set back up, all the equipment. So I'm looking into how I'm going to do that. Will you be actually be able to see my face or will it just be, be audio, but with um, video overlays, I'm still debating with all that because then that's a whole, you know, whole other, you know, beast in itself, but I will be in some form to show going forward, probably early into next year, we'll be switching over to primarily, um, more so YouTube than doing an audio podcast, or I still might be putting out, um, you know, audio snippets of the podcast, you know, uh, for people that can't watch it on YouTube, still trying to work out the kinks for that. But I feel like 
you know, just doing audio for me in a creative standpoint is getting kind of stale. Um, I didn't know anything about audio and podcasting when I started this 10 years ago. I learned along the way and, you know, it was the whole challenge of it. I feel like I need another challenge to keep content sharp and fresh, It's I, you know, for myself and for you guys to keep you guys, you know, interested and hopefully, you know, even grow the, the, the listenership even more. Um, you know, I, I work hard, you know, and I, and I believe in this totally. I work very hard to provide the best podcast uh, and entertaining podcasts available and informative podcasts available in the realm when it comes to comics and the things that I cover. I want to keep doing it. I feel like I put a hard enough work into it that um, it can reach more people. That's just what I believe. I'm never satisfied with my results. I always feel like I can do a little bit better. And this is just the next, the next phase of that for me. Um, I want to grow this. I want this to be even a bigger thing than what it is. Cause I believe in what I do. I believe in you guys supporting me in this and that we want it on a bigger scale. So that's what, um, the next phase of this, this show, I'm not, I'm going to quit calling it a podcast at this point because I believe it's a show. It's more than a show for me. It's actually a way of life. It's been a way of life for me for the past 10 years of my life. So, um, it's plenty of content down the road. So you don't have to worry about it. And like I said, it was uh, just, um, a rapid succession of unfortunate incidents, uh, caused the, the lack of content the past few months. No worries about that. I just wanted to put something out as quickly as I could get my stuff back up and running to let you guys know I am still here. I'm still around. Um, episodes will start coming back out next week. Like I said, I have a plethora of content because like I, I at least have 10, 10 episodes at least. I'm just going through my Evernote now because I, you know, do my show outlines through Evernote and there's quite a few. Actually, I have about 14, roughly like 14 episodes. I'm sorry about that. I was looking through. I have about 14 episodes roughly outlined, ready to go, just need that just need to be recorded. So it's, um, it's plenty of content to be had. Um, I don't have any schedule on how things are going to come out as far as what episodes are going to uh, come out. I'll, I'll try to keep it varied because, like I said, it's, it's so much stuff that I was wanting to cover from the summer that I did and I outlined. So um, it will be no lack of, of uh, content coming your way. I appreciate everyone that stuck with me. I know probably through this time away that I might have lost some listeners. Um, just keep spreading the word. Um, let them know that I'm back and it's, um, plenty of content on the way. So, uh, again, that's just a non-brief, brief update on what's been going on. Um, again, I appreciate all your support. Uh, check out the website, comicbooksavant.com. I'm on social media. I need to build up a following. I'm going to start posting more on the Facebook page. So if you go to comicbooksavant.com, it's a link to the Facebook page. I'm going to start putting stuff there because, um, I want to reach out and do like live videos and things like that. So I want to start utilizing this social media thing. So if you're a listener of the show, I'm on Instagram, I'm on uh, Twitter, I'm on Snapchat, I'm on all that stuff. And I want to use it. I just need the followers to know that you guys are there to put, I don't want to put stuff out and no one that listens to the show, you know, people that listen to the show are not following. It's kind of, then it, it's kind of counterproductive, but follow me on those social media networks and I can keep you guys abreast of things as they happen. Um, but again, this was just my way to reaching out to the, the, the most listeners as possible to get, give them a, a idea of what's going on and what's been going on with the show. So um, I will see you guys next week for another episode. Take care. And into lyrical wholeness. And I know this, and I know this, this I know. This I know.